Hello and welcome to a new series. I am Curtis and this is Free Skills. What we're going to do here, um, I know a lot of people have been asking for the um, series that I promised with the social networking site after the last e-commerce series. Um, I'm a little too busy right now to do that. Um, my dad has a lot of health issues and uh, I do plan on doing that still, although I may re release that on Udemy. Uh, but don't worry, uh, all of my subscribers, I'm, I plan on giving a free coupon uh, if that's possible. But um, I am going to continue to release YouTube videos as well. And um, I thought I would start with uh, a DB wrapper for PDO because in the last series we used MySQLi, which is great, but um, PDO, in my opinion, is a little bit. Um, nicer. Uh, it, it, it is an extension so it has to be installed. Um, most most of the time though um, PDO is installed by default on most servers and on uh, Exam things like that. So you pretty much should have it. I'm going to show you how to check that here in a minute to make sure that you do. But what is uh, PDO? Well that's it's, it's a database object. So it's PHP database object um, so it's centered around object-oriented programming. So um, that's the way that we're going to write our wrapper. Um, the, the other thing that's really nice about it is that it's not just for MySQL. Um, you can use many different database uh, databases with it and not have to worry about changing your program. So if you write it in PDO, you would just need to update a few things in your um, connection and you could use um, other database structures besides MySQL. The other reason that I really like it is it has a lot of uh, nice features as far as binding and security so that we can avoid SQL injection. So um, what we're going to focus on in this series is creating a database wrapper that we can use in all of our projects. Um, we're going to create an, uh, a class, a DB class, and then what we're going to do is go ahead and um, use that in any project that we want. We just have to update our connections. So uh, let's get started. First of all, let's just make sure we have PDO installed. So I'm going to I'm here in my project. I have an empty project right now. I'm going to create two files that we're going to work with. Just index.php, and we'll create another file that we're going to call db.php. And db are both going to be capitalized. Most of the time in classes, you only capitalize the first letter, but since it's only two DB, I'm just going to use both capitalized. Um, and then on the index right now, I'm just going to use a function called uh, PHP info. And what this is going to do is print out my, uh, it's going to print out my, uh, oh, sorry, I can't talk in, type at the same time, apparently. It's been a long time since I've made a, uh, a video, and I apologize about that, guys, but hang with me, and we will get a really cool thing going here. So with this PHP info, I can actually check uh, through my PHP and see uh, what is installed, what extensions are here, and all the information about my server. So be careful with this. You don't want to have this live in any capacity because people can get lots of sensitive information here. But let's look up, if I type in PDO, um, we can see here that PDO is installed. So, and we have a few different engines installed. So, perfect. Um, if you don't have PDO installed, go ahead and look up how to install that. It is an extension, but I think most of you guys are going to find that it is installed by default. So what we're going to do um, in, in this series is, is the first thing. Uh, well, you know what? Let's just let's call that the first video, and um, we know that it's installed now. And in the next video, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create our class and talk a little bit about object-oriented programming and about a programming um, construct or a a what would it be called? Like a method. Not really a method, but it's 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 a style of programming called a singleton pattern. Uh, so it's a pattern, and it, and what we're going to do is we're going to create a singleton object, um, and we're going to use the singleton pattern for this. 
And I'll explain more about that in the next video. But I will see you there.